In the following animation, a white star will indicate where the train crossed the canal. And in this picture you can see the building on the left, which is the Vulcanine Works, of which more later. The second star indicates the perhaps more familiar Vinegar Express crossing on Shrub Hill Road, where it continued to make its way up to the main line at Shrub Hill. This was the only crossing that was known to be controlled by civilians and not the Great Western Railway. The Vulcan Ironworks at Cromwell Street, Worcester, was founded in 1857 by Thomas Clunes. The firm started out as engineers, millwrights, iron and brass founders, plumbers, etc., according to the listing in Kelly's directory. The works had a single tall tapering square chimney, a covered area with open sides, and a handsome main building on a largely open site on the west side of the Worcester and Birmingham Canal. Clunes was listed as a master engineer employing 104 men and 10 boys, and his 11-year-old son was also apprenticed. In 1861, Clunes was joined by two former railwaymen, Mackenzie and Holland, and the firm moved into railway signalling equipment. Clunes retired to Foy in Cornwall and his name was dropped from the company's name in 1870. This bridge on the butt siding has the Vulcan Ironworks trademark cast into the side. This is Holy Trinity Church in Shrubbill Road next to Heenan's factory that can be seen on the left. The railway line went this side of the church. The wall on the left in this reconstruction, which places the engine right in the middle of Shrub Hill Road, was the original boundary to the Holy Trinity Church.